Amos 3. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family that I brought up out of the land of Egypt. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Do two walk together unless they have agreed to meet? Does a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from his den if he has taken nothing? Does a bird fall in a snare on the earth when there is no trap for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground when it has taken nothing? Is a trumpet blown in a city and the people are not afraid? Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has done it? For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not feed? The Lord God has spoken, who can not prophesy? I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when you see the ones who are doing it their way, what are they doing? I say they are lying, they are cheating, they are scheming, they are putting on their shows and their proud parades, they are doing it their way. But I say that all they are really doing is damning themselves and other souls likewise. For I say they are taking themselves far from the way of truth that I provide, far from the straight and narrow way. And I say they are going in the broad way, they are going in the way wherein they can boast of how great they are. And I say all the while they prove they are magnified fools, for I say they are far from me. That is, they are far from what it is that I, the living God, do intend, which is repentance, revolution in the lives of those who are mine. That is, I long for, I desire to see truly repentant men and women who will come near unto me. But I say in the times ye are in, there are so many who are busy about doing it their way. What do I say? I say they are fools. I say they are blinded. I say they are full of their own understanding, proving nothing at all. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to walk according to your own understanding, but I say that I've called you to come forth according to the truth, that is, to be directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I give, it is the way of life, it is the way of hope, it is the way of peace provided. And I say if you will indeed be thankful for that way, then you are brought forth, uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And yes, you are given the truth and the strength, the mercy of who I am each and every day. And yes, you will be guided in that which I, the living God, do intend and provide for the ones who are serving me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that the ones who love me would walk uprightly in me and adhere unto me. That is, not looking to do it their way, but rather looking to go in the way that I provide. For I say, while men are proud and wise in their own conceit, resisting repentance, revolution in their lives, I say they are only hardening themselves against me. And I say they are going in the way of darkness and iniquity, they are going in the way of foolery, and I say they will be bound in the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not find pleasure in fools, and yet I say they boast themselves all the day long as though they are the greatest thing on earth. But I say they are not great, but I say they are simply idiots who have chosen their own way. That is, they have chosen to estrange themselves from me, they have chosen to believe in themselves above me. And I say all the while they bask in the praise of men, but I say they will scream in the agonies of hell for the same. For I say when men will refuse what it is that I offer, then make their own way, they are making the way of demons. And I say they are being directed by demons, instructed by demons, and guided forth by the same. But I say that I, the living God, did not intend that men would go in such a way, not at all. But I say that I've intended that men would be uplifted and brought forth, guided and directed each day by me. Now I say that I, the living God, do intend that you would serve me in the attitude of gratitude each and every day. That is, ever thankful to be guided forth, to be instructed, and given the light always. For I say, if you really will consider the mercy that I've given, the truth that I provide, I say that you will live in joy before me. That is, for the privilege to continue in repentance, revolution, for the privilege to walk in the humility way of who I am. Now I say, of course, you are living in a proud and a rebellious age when men and women are full of their own way. 
But I say they are so blinded, so stupid, so dull, they think their way is some great thing. It is nothing new. For I say that it goes all the way back to the garden when they chose their own way. That is, they chose the way of their own understanding rather than the way that I did provide. Now I say this day when a man will grow wise in his own conceit and full of pride, then he thinks he knows something he does not know. And I say that he will indeed be strutting and boasting and exalting himself in a way that I never intended at all. But I say that I, the living God, will give tender mercy, loving kindness and goodness to those who will pay heed to me. And I say that the ones who will walk in my way will be directed, corrected, and guided forth by me. Therefore I say in a wicked, a vile, a corrupted, and evil generation, let it be me, the living God, that you look to time and again. Let it be me, the living God, who is thy life source. Let it be me, the living God, who is the truth and the mercy. Let it be me, the living God, who does provide. For I say, if you look upon what it is that I give, what it is that I provide, I say it is abundance of life in me. And I say that I provide the humility way for those who are truly repentant and desirous of walking in me. But I say, because men are estranged from me through their pride, through their sin, through their arrogance, I say they will not accept my way. But I say they are determined within themselves to do it their way, and oh, what fools they are. For I say, for all of their independence, for all of their pride, their foolery, I say they end in a ditch and a mire of their own making. And I say, when the blind lead the blind, then they all shall stumble in the ditch. Now I say, this day that I the living God do call my people to be guided forth by a plain path, to be uplifted and directed by me. And I say that I call my people to be thankful each day for the privilege to know that I am indeed well able to give them life. And I say that I call my people to know that each day I will give them the truth and the mercy, the hope and the strength time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, blessedness, and truth and mercy provided. Now I say, therefore, this day be quick to be accepting and not rejecting of what it is that I, the living God, do have for you. That is, be quick to accept my truth, my light, and my mercy each and every day. And I say, be quick to be coming forth in that which I, the living God, alone can give time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope and peace provided each and every day. Therefore I say you do not need to be found in the confusion, the delusion that is ever present in these times. And I say that you do not need to reject repentance and scoff the same as the fools have done. But I say that you need to continue in the way of repentance, revolution, the humility way that I give to my own. And I say you need to serve me each day in the attitude of gratitude for the privilege to be redeemed. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that you would walk in humility, that you would walk in subjectivity, that you would be giving thanks and praise and honor unto me. That is, that you can be brought forth in that which I give thee time and again. That you can be uplifted in purpose, directed and guided in blessedness, for it is me, the living God, who will give to, the, to you the pathway of life. And I say, when you take that way, ever thankful to be repentant, ever thankful to walk in humility and serve me, then I say you are found pleasing me. But I say, if you behave as the foolish who want their own way and are determined to do it their way, what do you find? You find that your life will be full of frustration and sorrow, your life will be full of darkness, and I say it is because you have chosen to serve the God of self above me. That is, you have put a premium on pleasing self while you've not endeavored to please me. That is, while you've not sought to please me and obey me and walk uprightly in me day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am present to direct, correct, and guide forth the people who keep their focus ever upon me. That is, when a people will serve me with gladness and rejoicing, then I say that they can be guided forth by me. And yes, they can be given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength time and again, for it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give to them the same. And it is me, the living God, who is the one who is able to show you the way of eternal life. 
Therefore I say this day, do not look to do it your way, for the same is nothing but darkness, and it will take you far from me. And I say, do not be as the blind who are ever spouting forth their doctrines of devils, and causing others to be made blind by the same. But I say, be ever thankful to receive the truth and the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace that I provide day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and strength, and the way that is hope provided. Therefore I say, continue trusting, believing, and looking unto me each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever available to direct, correct, and guide forth the people who will be single in me. That is, ever single to receive my truth and my light, to walk in my mercy each and every day. For I say, if you are not looking to do it your way, to do what you think is right when really it is wrong, then I say that you can be found submitted unto me. But I say, if you insist and persist in demand and command that you have your own way, you are proven to be the fool. Now I say this day, do not be high-minded, do not be full of confidence in self, but I say, let your confidence be in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is calling for all men to repent, to turn from evil and walk uprightly in my way. And it is me, the living God, who is giving the purpose, the plan, and the truth to the ones who will be trusting each day in me. That is, the ones who will be submitted to me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. Therefore I say this day, be glad that I, the living God, am ever present, that you can indeed call upon me and walk in my way. That is, through repentance, revolution, you can be guided forth in the life that I give time and again. And I say, when you will be serving in the attitude of gratitude, then I say you are strengthened, directed, and brought forth by me. And I say you are given the straight and narrow way as you repent and repent and repent unto me. For I say that I'm calling for men, for women, for children to repent, to turn from the iniquity, to turn from the darkness, to turn from the evil of their own way. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who will love me to come forth in the way that I give time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the truth and the light, the mercy, the peace, and the hope to those who will walk in repentance with me. For I say my people are not meant to be as fools demanding, commanding, and desiring their own way all to their own destruction. But I say that my people are meant to be made wise by adhering unto me and walking in my way, the way that I provide. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to end in the fool's parade, in the proud display and the exaltation of self. For I say when a man is drunk on self, he is drunk on pride, I say he will exalt himself. That is, he will think that he's filled with all knowledge and wisdom when really it is not true at all. For I say, when a man is so full of pride, he makes no way to be filled by me. But I say, when a man will humble his soul before me and cry out, then I say that he's able to be filled by me. And yes, he is able to be uplifted, directed, and guided forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. And yes, he is able to partake of what it is that I, the living God, do give to instruct him day by day. That is, to guide him, instruct him, and teach him in the way of my life. For I say there's a difference between what men choose to do of their own way, their own will, and what it is that I will have a man to do. For I say the way that I, the living God, do lead any man or woman who is truly crying out for me is the way of humility, the way of repentance, revolution revealed. And they will be forced to walk in the same, may glad, ever thankful that it is me that they serve. And I say that they will indeed be rejoicing in the attitude of gratitude because I am the I am. I say, therefore, be thankful to partake, to believe, and be ever trusting in me, the one through God who is able. And I say, make sure you are brought forth in the blessedness, the truth, the life of who I am. It's become a regular weather event this week, a hot, humid day, followed by a monsoonal afternoon storm. Characterized by fast-moving black clouds, lightning, drenching rain, even hail. Henry was no place to be caught without a trolley. Richmond had 11 millimetres of rain in seven minutes. First part with 18 millimetres, with wind gusts of more than 60 kilometres an hour. Today the first thunderstorm...